This slide contains an outline of the derivation of the moment generating function for a normal random variable x. If you want all of the details, they are given in the book. So we begin by assuming that x has the normal distribution with parameters mu and sigma squared. And first of all, m of t is equal to the expected value of e to the tx. That is the definition of the moment generating function for any random variable x. Then to calculate this expected value, e to the tx power is brought in front here, and that is multiplied by the probability density function for a normal random variable. So that is set up by using the definition of the expected value. This constant, 1 over the square root of 2 pi times sigma, is brought out front. Notice we have e raised to one power, e raised to another power. We can bring the 1 over 2 sigma squared out front in the power. There is a number of steps of algebra that go on to get you to this point. Now going from this step to the next step, you'll notice that this constant has been brought out front of the integral. This particular constant remains right here. There are a number of steps to get to here and in fact within those steps there is a completing of the square involved with this quantity right here to wind up with this expression. Again, details in the book. Finally, if you look at this quantity right here, you'll notice that the integral runs from minus infinity to infinity and the look of this particular integrand is that of a probability density function of a normal random variable and because PDFs have to integrate to 1, this quantity right here is simply 1 and in the end you get a nice closed form expression e to the mu t plus one half sigma squared t squared for any t value between negative infinity and positive infinity so you get a nice closed form expression for the moment generating function of a normal random variable.